Hello, my name is Sean Civic, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Cisco DNA Center's Network Services feature to get visibility into AAA, DHCP, and DNS. Cisco DNA Center is an incredible tool for troubleshooting wireless networks. It does this by assigning a health score to network devices, clients, and applications. It calculates these health scores by using various key performance indicators or KPIs. An example of KPIs would be things like interference or noise, or a client's signal strength, or their signal to noise ratio. Or on the application side, it would be things like latency loss and jitter. In addition to KPIs, we also show various other metrics such as data rate and the number of retries to help you troubleshoot issues. Now, if one or more of these KPIs are not being met, it will lower the health score of that network device, client, or application, so then you'll know exactly what's causing poor performance. However, performance is not always caused by a particular network or client. Wireless issues can often be caused by something else in the network. That's why we've added network services to Cisco DNA Center Assurance. Can your wireless clients log on to the network? Is the AAA server down or slow to respond? If they are able to log in, are they able to get an IP address? Is there an issue with your DACP servers? If they are able to log in and obtain an IP address, are they able to resolve host names? Is DNS working? Cisco DNA Center provides this information to help you troubleshoot these type of issues quickly and easily to ensure an optimal user experience. Now there are a few requirements to get this information into Cisco DNA Center. For instance, AAA and DHCP need to be on Cisco DNA Center version 2.2.3, while DNS needs the Cisco DNA Center to be on version 2.3.5. AAA and DHCP both need the wireless LAN controller to be on version 17.6.1, while DNS requires the wireless LAN controller to be on 17.10. They also uh, need to be on iOS XE because AirOS is not supported. They also require application telemetry or NetFlow to be enabled. Now, if you've enabled application telemetry prior to 17.10, you do have to disable and re-enable application telemetry to get the DNS data. If you simply try to update the telemetry settings, it won't actually create the NetFlow DNS monitor. So just keep in mind that you'll have to disable and re-enable application telemetry if you aren't seeing any DNS data. And you can do this by selecting the wireless LAN controller from provision, inventory, and then telemetry, disable application telemetry, followed by telemetry, enable application telemetry. Network services is available from the hamburger menu, assurance, health, and then the overall page. You can also go to specific pages for AAA, DHCP, or DNS from the Assurance Network Services tab. From the overall page in the Network Services dashlet, you can see the number of services and the percentages of successful and failed transactions for each of the three categories. For instance, I have one AAA server in my lab, but you'd probably have at least two or probably more in a production environment. I also have two DNS servers and two DHCP servers. You'll also see the number and percentages of successful and failed transactions. And you can also drill down to get additional information by clicking on the View Dashboard link. From here, you can set the time range to be 3 hours, 24 hours, or 7 days. You can also go back in time by selecting a specific date in the calendar. As you can see from the banner, AAA Network Services is only supported for wireless clients. The information displayed on this page is based on the time selected in the time travel window, and you can select a specific point in time or further filter the information by moving the sliders at each end of the window to zoom in on a specific time range. The Insight view compares the currently selected time with the previous time range. It can give you a quick indication if things are getting better, getting worse, or staying the same. The summary view shows you the number of servers and their average latency, whereas the transaction view shows the total number of transactions along with the number of successful and failed transactions. 
You can also view a list of all the sites with the highest latencies, number of transactions, and the number of transaction failures. This allows you to focus on the areas that need your attention the most. More information is provided when clicking on the View Details link. For instance, when clicking on the top sites by highest latency, I can view the top AAA servers, top SSIDs, top APs, as well as the client table, which shows each client's transactions, latency, IP address, device type, and health score. And clicking on the transaction failure shows the same information, but it's filtered to show the sites with the highest failed transactions. There are also similar views based on specific AAA servers instead of the view based on site. And the AAA server latency shows both MAB and EAP latencies with more detailed information available. The AAA server transactions is also able to be filtered by successful and failed transactions. You'll also see a list of the AAA servers by wireless LAN controller, which shows the AAA server IP address, wireless LAN controller name, location, latency, transactions, and transaction failures. The DHCP network services dashboard is also selectable in 3-hour, 24-hour, or 7-day increments and on specific dates from the calendar. It also offers the familiar time travel window, insights, and summary and transaction views. And you can also view sites by highest latency, sites by transaction failures, DHCP server latency, and DHCP server transactions. You'll again see a list of DHCP servers by wireless LAN controller, which will show latencies, transactions, transaction failures. The DNS dashboard, which is introduced in Cisco DNA Center 2.3.5, is very similar to the other two. You can still select your 3-hour, 24-hour, or 7-day increments, or a specific date from the calendar. It also has the time travel window, insights, and summary and transaction views. Again, there are dashlets for top transaction failures, DNS server latency, and DNS server transactions. You'll also see DNS servers listed by device showing latency, tran latency transactions, and transaction failures. So this pretty much concludes the network services demo. I'm really excited about these features as they will help expedite troubleshooting of complex issues in your environment. Please be sure to check out our additional videos on our YouTube channel, as well as the user guides and assurance guides from the links below. I'm Sean Civic. Thank you for watching.